Hello? Yes, hi. Uh, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Castle Malloy. I'm Kyler Mallory's maid of honor. Yes, I remember that name. Has Matthew finally put an end to that ridiculous prank of his? No, I'm afraid he's still at it. But if you have a second, could I ask you some questions? It should be a minute or two before my ride gets here. What's on your mind? Do you have any idea where Matt may be hiding? None. And if what you're really asking is, am I in on his little joke? The answer to that is, absolutely, unequivocally, no. I detest practical jokes. Do you remember Matt saying anything odd? Anything that in hindsight might suggest where he went? Nothing that I recall. Although, he did say a lot of things. But not to me, but to Kyla and that other chap, Kit. And he said them quite loudly, I might add. What do you mean? The evening before Matt disappeared, he and Kit had a terrible row. I couldn't make out exactly what was being said, but they both sounded very angry. Furious, I dare say. In fact, the next time I saw Kit, he was sporting a black eye. And the next morning, Matt and Kyla had a go at each other. Nothing physical, mind you, and once again, I couldn't make out what was said, but I promise you, they were quite put out with each other. I was more than happy to bid the lot of them farewell, though I imagine I'll be returning to the castle before too long. Matt is bound to find his prank as tedious as everyone else does eventually. I must be off. Nancy, it was a pleasure venting to you. Hopefully before too long we shall meet in person. Cheers. Hello? Hi, Ned. It's me. Hey, Nancy. How come you're not calling from your cell phone? Well, let's just say you were right about driving and using my cell phone. Sort of. You were in a car accident? Yeah, but you heard me hang up, so I wasn't really talking on the phone. I just had it in my hand. Even though I did wind up in a ditch. I'm fine, but the rental car and my cell phone are pretty much history. You drove into a ditch? Something that kind of looked like a woman and kind of didn't ran across the road right in front of me. I had to swerve to miss her, or it, or whatever. What do you mean it kind of looked like a woman? It had all this long, wild hair, and it was a dress or a robe. But its face, it just didn't look human. Here we go again. You're in Ireland, not two hours, and what happens? A mystery falls into my lap. A harmless mystery. Don't worry, Ned. I'm You're fine. fine. Right. Did I mention that Matt Simmons, the guy Kyler came here to marry, is missing? The groom is missing? She thinks he's just playing a practical joke. Wait a minute. You and Kyler are there by yourselves? No, Matt's best friend is here too. So is the caretaker, Mr. Delaney. This guy Matt thinks disappearing less than a week before his wedding is funny? I'm no expert on marriage or anything, but I don't think that's a good sign. I found Matt's broken glasses in the fireplace of the room he was staying in. What would somebody's glasses be doing in a fireplace? They could have been knocked off his face and landed there. You think he was fighting with someone? That's a possibility. I didn't admit it to Kyler, but I'm getting worried. Relax. Because you know what? If I wore glasses and if I were into playing practical jokes on people, I'd do just that. I'd break them and leave them someplace really weird just to freak out whoever finds them. You're probably right. But why don't you give that fireplace a real good look, just in case? I'd really like to get into the tower of Castle Malloy. What's stopping you? The lack of stairs, for one thing. There are no stairs? They were destroyed along with half the castle in a mysterious explosion during World War II. Apparently, the guy who lived here then, Brendan Malloy, was some kind of mad scientist. Why do you want to get up in the tower so bad? I saw some strange lights coming from inside it. I can't help but think it might have been Matt. Why would he be up in a tower? Oh, maybe that's where he's hiding out. You just said there's no way to get in. I know, but maybe... He learned how to fly. You're not helping, Ned. Sorry, Nancy. That's it for now. It was great talking to you. Just what I was going to say. Bye. Hello? This is a sales call. No, Bess, it's me, Nancy. I'm calling from a phone in Ireland. 
Nancy, hi! George, get over here. It's Nancy. Hi, man. You'd better be having a great time there, because you are missing an incredible time here. The Dunhills throw the best parties. You should see all the awesome pool toys they've got. And everywhere you look, some cute guy in swim trunks is standing over a barbecue grilling something. I'm in heaven. Sounds fabulous. Be sure to wish Kathy and Carrie a happy birthday for me. You know, one person I haven't seen is Ned. Yeah, me neither. He's there somewhere. I talked to him earlier. So, what's going on with you? Just as I got to the castle, something that may or may not have been a banshee ran across the road in front of me and made me drive into a ditch. You saw a banshee? That's bad luck, isn't it? Not if you see a banshee. If you hear one, it means someone's going to die. Wait a minute. Why was it running? Can't banshees fly? Bess, what I saw just looked like a banshee. I'm sure it really wasn't a banshee, although it did just kind of vanish. And when I talked to Kyler, I found out that her husband-to-be has vanished. What do you mean, vanished? Matt came to Ireland with Kyler and his best friend, Kit, but now he's nowhere to be found. Kyler is convinced he's pulling a prank. A prank? Apparently, he's a pretty big practical joker. More like a pretty big moron. Incoming. Check it out. Oh, my gosh. Guys? Hello? Bess? George? Anyone? Sorry, we were hopelessly distracted by a truly amazing set of washboard abs. Whoever ran out in front of my car dropped a handmade doll that looks like the missing groom. A handmade doll? That's kind of freaky. Dolls are freaky, period. Who around there would be making dolls? Kyler thinks I saw Matt, and the doll was just part of the practical joke he's playing. Let me see if I got this straight. The guy thinks disappearing less than a week before his wedding, causing cars to run off the road, and making creepy dolls is funny? Not exactly best Marvin marriage material, is he? I found a draft of the vows Kyler is planning to say at her wedding. Oh, custom written vows are so sweet. Problem is, these vows have the words, What am I doing? This is wrong. Scrawl beneath them. That can't be good. How do you know she was talking about the wedding? Maybe she was just frustrated because she couldn't put her feelings into words. That's true. Did you ask her about them? What's the point? If she is having second thoughts about getting married, she probably won't admit it, seeing as she's failed to mention it before. That's true, too. Wait a minute. You guys aren't suggesting that Kyler is behind Matt's disappearance, are you? I admit that doesn't make much sense. But it is a possibility. You two are terrible. According to Alan Payne, Matt's best man, there was a lot of arguing going on just before Matt disappeared. Matt was fighting with Kit, Kyler was fighting with Matt, Alan said he went back to London to wait for Matt to reappear because he couldn't stand all the constant squabbling. So, all was not blissful in premaritalville, eh? Wait a minute. If Kit is Matt's best friend, why isn't he his best man? Good question. Unfortunately, the person most qualified to answer it has disappeared. Did I tell you that Kit Foley has a black eye? Why am I not surprised? That's it from here. You guys are wearing sunscreen, right? Yes, Nancy. Just checking. Bye.